Are you menopausal and trying to stick to your diet, but you get so doggone hungry that you just cave? Are you menopausal and dealing with cravings and unable to stick to your diet? What happens when you have every good intention of sticking to that diet and you get hungry? I can help you. This is Over 50 Fat Loss. I'm Connie, and I have fat loss secrets for the over 50 woman. I struggled with weight loss for a long time until I figured out how my body wanted me to eat. Um, I still have to be very careful and watch what I eat, and it's a, it's a process. I do it every single day of my life, and I will continue to do it. Um, you don't have to be perfect to succeed. So I'll tell you a story about when um, I was learning what my body needed to eat and wanted to eat. Um, I thought I was being, you know, doing all the right things, totally uh, having, you know, a massive salad for lunch with, um, you know, basically eating lower fat, um, watching my calories, definitely, you know, having a, a large bowl of vegetables with a little bit of white meat chicken, and a low fat dressing and I would eat and eat, you know, it'd take me 10 minutes to eat that salad. Um, and I would finish up and feel hungry after. Um, I was physically full, physically stuffed because my stomach was full of, of, of lunch. And about an hour later, I wanted cookies. And so that is a mad sugar craving. Um, I went high fat, high protein, low carb. Um, I looked at my plate, it looked completely different. Um, I had uh, a burger patty, a grass fed burger patty with um, a spinach salad. The spinach salad had an oily dressing on it. And um, I think maybe I had a maybe a piece of cheese on that burger. So my lunch went from this massive bowl of vegetables that was, you know, beautiful and looked so enticing and tasted great to a smaller plate, very high protein, lots of fat and very few carbohydrates. Um, I remember eating that burger patty and spinach salad um, and thinking, is this all I get? I mean, my goodness, that's not enough food. It didn't take me very long to eat it. Um, I, I told myself to just see what happens. And a half an hour after that meal, I didn't care if I ate again for the rest of my life. I felt amazing. My stomach didn't hurt. I wasn't stuffed. And I had energy to last me, you know, the rest of the day. So I'm just sharing this with you, just kind of get an idea. If, if you're not satisfied half an hour after eating, you need to eat different macronutrients. I mean, you need to look at what you've eaten and, and, and change it and, and you know experiment with something else. Um, I often say that if you add you know, just a, another tablespoon or two of fat, to a lunch that maybe almost worked. Um, for example, I'll just I'll just keep giving you my examples because uh, you know I think everyone wants to know what what should I be eating. I went to the Whole Foods uh, salad bar. Um, I think I put uh, two small. Um, chicken thighs in and then I scooped out some veggies and had you know something like maybe some broccoli um, and maybe I put a small salad in there with with plenty of oil and vinegar dressing um, maybe a couple nuts and it was pretty simple but I knew that if I didn't have higher fat I wouldn't be satisfied for the afternoon and so I grabbed two pats of butter and ate that on my chicken, basically. I, I knew that would work for me. I knew that if I didn't do that or something fattier, um, I would be craving sugar at the end of, you know, a half an hour 
to two hours after that meal. Um, so that's the advice that I have. If you're crashing and burning energy wise and or having a sugar craving um, after your, you know, your, your midday meal, then your macronutrients are not right for your energy needs. Figuring out your meals obviously is important. When you're um, afraid of fat um, and you're used to eating, you know, higher carbohydrates like a sandwich or um, uh, a rice bowl or something that's lower in calories because it fills you up, but later in the day you're starving, you need to rethink it. I'm, you know, absolutely guaranteeing that by increasing your fat and protein, you will feel better. Eating more fat and protein will also level out your blood sugar and your blood sugar is what's controlling your insulin. And your insulin is determining whether you burn fat or you burn sugar. And if you know nothing about how your insulin works in your body, then we need to talk, definitely. I offer a jumpstart session with new clients to get you educated on how you should be you know, eating, exercising, sleeping, supplementing, all of those things are, you know, definitely important for uh, a successful outcome. And, you know, you're putting so much effort into this. Um, you deserve to have the answers that will push you into success. You deserve to have the answers so you can be successful. I am passionate about menopausal fat loss. It's something that I am good at helping you with, helping you see the things that aren't working necessarily. Um, another important aspect is intermittent fasting. As a menopausal woman, you really need to allow your body to process the glucose that you've put into it and um, we don't have as much muscle as we once did. We are seeming to be a lot less active and we don't have the hormones that are gonna shift us um, in and out of metabolic flexibility. So we're going to need to be a lot more careful. Um, it's worth learning whether you use something like the Keto Mojo um, or you, uh, some, kind of, some type of a glucose monitor, um, whether you, it, it's a good idea to have more data. If you're not having success and you're doing everything quote unquote right in your, in your diet and um, lifestyle plan, then you need more data. You need more information and I can help you with that in my nutritional practice. Supplements that you might wanna consider are um, a, a, a good basic multivitamin and vitamin D for sure. Um, you might want to try a magnesium supplement if you are not already supplementing magnesium. I like magnesium glycinate it's well-rounded and well-absorbed and it won't cause uh, loose stools. Um, magnesium supplements are one that can really help with constipation. Um, they can help with stress levels. They can, they calm down the body. And I mean, magnesium, if you're not supplementing with magnesium, I highly, highly recommend it in our um, menopausal state. It'll help with sleep. Um, it'll help with so many functions in the body. Probably you need about five to 800 milligrams of a good quality magnesium blend. I love to offer information on berberine. 
Berberine is a wonderful nutrient for all things fat loss. It will lower your insulin and it's also going to lower your inflammation. Berberine has the ability to reduce gas and bloating and help with GI pathogen overload. Berberine can also help with your cholesterol profile. So it's a great nutrient to try. I like Berberine Synergy by Designs for Health. I think a capsule is about 500 milligrams and I would do um, start with one capsule with a meal and if you tolerate that well, then maybe increase it to two capsules per meal and give it two to three weeks and see what happens. If you're faithful to your low carb, higher protein diet, and you're getting plenty of exercise and you're not falling off the wagon, um, you might see a real improvement in fat loss. That's a good way to um, kind of pull a lever and see, see what happens. So there's a few tips, tricks, and hacks to maximize fat loss um, as a menopausal woman, or any woman for that matter. Um, make sure that your diet is on point and um, you might wanna start tracking macronutrients, looking at how many carbohydrates you're getting every single day. Um, get your exercise in, maybe look at how many steps you're getting or add in some weightlifting. Um, some resistance training is ideal for us at this age. We're losing muscle. Um, do intermittent fasting. Uh, make sure that you're at least eating, um, you know, in an eight hour window. Maybe you're getting maybe a, a 14 to 16 hour fasted window. And, you know, maybe a couple days a week you prolong that so that you're having, uh, you know, a lot more time in the fasted state, which helps your body tap into uh, burning fat. No snacking. Snacking is detrimental. If you do snack, I'll suggest that you eat only protein for your snack. Maybe two hard boiled eggs. Maybe you cook some extra chicken and have a, you know, a, a piece of chicken for your snack. Um, or don't snack at all, honestly. It's something that if you, if you create your meals properly and you eat enough at one sitting, you should be able to go until your next meal without a snack. It might take some practice. Um, we're so used to grazing. You know, the Weight Watchers mantra is, you know, eat every few hours. And I, I, I know that doesn't work. So let's not kid ourselves. Um, a high protein snack is probably the best way so that your insulin doesn't bump up and you don't store your fuel. Um, we want that insulin to, to be very low so that your body can tap in and out of fat burning and then burning the fuel that you ate and then burning the fat that's in your body and then burning the fuel that you ate, the meal that you just consumed and enjoyed, hopefully. So there's that. Sleep, sleep is essential. Um, sleep and stress, those are two things that if you don't do, um, if you don't sleep and if you have a lot of stress, then your body will be inflamed, it won't repair, and it will just kind of spiral out of control. It's important for you to get enough sleep and reduce your stress. That is gonna be a recipe for success. And then the supplementation. Um, if you have questions about supplements, I'd love for you to schedule a jumpstart session. We can, you know, go over all of that. And you're unique. Everyone's different. And, um, but I'm here to help you. And if there's questions that you have, you can pop them in the comments. Um, it'll be information for another video. And I really want to help you be on the right track and succeed. Um, this is a time in our life when you deserve to feel good in your body and having that ability to have the energy that you deserve is key. 
Um, so come for the fat loss, stay for the longevity, and have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.